to another Tech Simplicity computer tip. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to resolve the issue in which a lot of people, including myself, are having regarding the internet browser Mozilla Firefox. To give you a better idea of what I am talking about, I am actually going to recreate this very frustrating issue for you right now. To give some insight on what I'm doing, when a user opens the Firefox browser to do some web surfing and then closes it, sometimes the Firefox process is never killed. So, when the user attempts to open a new Firefox browser to do some further web surfing, they are prompted with the following error message. Firefox is already running, but is not responding. To open a new window, you must first close the existing Firefox process or restart your system. This is an extremely irritating message to receive, because the only way to resolve this problem is to either restart your system, or to open up the Windows Task Manager, go to the Process tab, find the Firefox process, and end the process. And this can be very, very, very frustrating. Because let's face it, the only thing that you wish to do is browse the web, and you shouldn't have to go through these inane steps in order to open your web browser. So to solve this problem, we're going to create a batch file. So go ahead and open up Windows Notepad. Once inside Windows Notepad, go ahead and type what is displayed on screen. When typing this, ensure that your upper and lower case letters are correct, as the text in this document is case sensitive. Depending on the PC and the user, the third line of this document may differ from what I have written here. This line represents the program's actual location on your PC. Most likely, if you are using a computer that is operating Windows Vista, Windows 7, or Windows 8, your Firefox will be installed in the same location. However, if it is not, and you chose to install Firefox in a different location, such as a second hard drive, Simply change the words to match where your file is located on your PC. Once you have completed writing the text, we are going to want to save this document as a batch file in order for it to be useful. To do that, simply click the button titled File, then click the button titled Save As. Once in the Save As menu, select the desktop as this is where we will want the file to be saved. Then, simply name the file mozillafirefox.bat. Finally, from the Save As Type drop-down menu, select All Files, then click the button titled Save. Once the file is saved, close out of Notepad. As you can see on our desktop, our batch file has been saved. To ensure that Firefox is still giving us the runaround, let's go ahead and try to open Firefox normally once again. As you can see, Firefox cooperated for us this one time. However, when I try to open up Firefox a second time, the error message, which causes so many headaches, has appeared once again. And no matter how many times I try to open Firefox, the error message will persistently keep popping up. And therein lies the problem, because the only way to fix it is to go through the Windows Task Manager and kill the process. And before using your internet browser, you shouldn't have to complete such a task every single time. But with our batch file, that's no longer an issue. By using the batch file, right now, I will kill the Firefox process and open up a new Firefox browser. Now, to make the Firefox batch file look like the actual Firefox icon, follow these steps. First, right-click the batch file, then hover over Send To, and then click the button titled Desktop Create Shortcut. Doing this will create a second icon directly below the original batch file. Right click the new icon and click the properties button. Once in the properties window, click the button titled change icon. If you're prompted with a new window like I was, click the OK button. If you wish to use the icons available from this window, feel free to do so. However, I prefer the original Firefox icon. To get this icon, simply click the browse button and navigate to the folder in which Firefox is installed on your PC. Once you have found the folder that holds the Firefox browser, simply double click on the original Firefox icon. In doing so, you will load the Firefox icon into the Change Icon window. Then, simply click one of the two available and click the OK button. Then, click the Apply button. 
After clicking the Apply icon, your new batch file will now resemble the original Firefox browser icon. You can then feel free to hide the original batch file icon so that it does not clutter your desktop. I personally put mine in my documents. After the original batch file is hidden, you can then go ahead and keep the newly created Firefox icon directly on your desktop. In closing, you have now completed the steps involved with fixing the issue of Firefox not ending its own process after closing out of the web browser. From this point forward, you should never encounter the error message, Firefox is already running but is not responding. To open a new window, you must first close the existing Firefox process or restart your system ever again. As a last word of caution, when opening up a new Firefox window, do not use the newly created batch file icon, as it will close any of the windows in which you currently have open at the time. Only use the newly created batch file icon to open Firefox if it is not already open. To open a new window, simply click the File button located in the upper left hand corner of the Firefox browser and then click the button titled New Window, or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl N. With that, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more helpful computer tips, and to also share this video if it was of help to you. Thanks, see you next time.